All right, guys, so day two here at Clear Lake, we launched out of Library Park. I'm here with John and uh, Michael Bray. They both did very good yesterday while I struggled, but uh, we're gonna be up here and fish some shallow waters and hopefully uh, bag a few before going home. We plan to fish until about maybe 11 o'clock and then uh, call it a day after that. But uh, yeah, let's we'll see what happens. I think they're fishing out Good fish. <laughs> it's kind of heavy to flip. Try to flip me. Oh, that's a solid fish. <laughs> Let's get one on the first gen. Latest jig. This is their copperhead. It's not released yet. This is just a prototype. But um, I'll talk a little bit more about it uh, in a bit. But let's get this fish back in. Man, that's a, that's a four four and a half pounder right there. Man, look how thick she is. Jeez. Oh, it's a heavy fish. <laughs> It's a good one, guys. <laughs> Solid fish, four, four and a half pounder right there. <sighs> so, started off throwing this bladed jig by first gen fishing. This is the prototype they sent me, and uh, you know I haven't had much time to throw it, so this is pretty much. I say second time throwing it. The first time I threw it at McClure and I caught a bunch of suspended spotted bass with it. But um, this is a very unique bait. The really unique thing about it is it has these BBs right here in the front of the head. And when you're reeling it in, the blade will actually knock on these BBs and make a lot of noise. It sounds very much like a lipless with all that rattling but it thumps twice as hard, pretty much. So that's basically what I'm throwing. Uh, if you guys are interested, you know, check them out. First gen fishing, very unique bait. Man, it has been so long since I've caught a, a chatterbait fish or um, landed a chatterbait fish. Yesterday, I threw the jackhammer quite a bit and uh, I lost two on it. I don't know, it's just weird because, uh, you know, Chatterbaits and bladed jigs used to be like a really big confidence of mine. So like I throw it all the time, and I caught a lot of big ones on it. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but uh, they it just died for me. I, I just couldn't catch a chatterbait fish. And um, you know, in this year, more I've been more successful with the spinnerbait this year than the chatterbait. So you know, I kind of just got away from the chatterbait, and uh, I don't know. I just couldn't really put them in the boat with the chatterbait. I, I know. The catch is big fish that actually caught my personal best and a couple uh, good ones on it. And I don't know what it is, but I just could not get them this year on it. And um, yeah, the spinnerbait seems to be more of what well, was catching me a lot of my fish. You know, come back here, you know, I wanted to throw a chatterbait and decided to throw it all day yesterday for nothing. <laughs> I mean, got two bites on it, but other than that, just pretty miserable day but man that one fish right there makes up for all of it and it just feels really good to catch it a fish on a bladed jig this bladed jig has a much more 
a wider thumb than your uh, you know traditional because I'm, I'm I'm a big fan of the jackhammer and the jackhammer has a hard thump as well but it's a very tight wobble uh, compared to this this thing just wobbles like crazy Right when it broke free, clobbered that thing. Choked it too. It's another solid fish right there. Clobbered it. Around the telling. Yeah. There's another one. Man, had me wrapped around that. Oh, another salt fish. Okay, hey, good. How are you? Catching him? Early. Yeah, it's been slow today, huh? Shoot. Really? Man. Really? The jig bite? Yeah, big old big fish too. Really? Really? Yeah. Two over there, and then came over here. Only caught one, but my buddy's got four, and he's got one. But it's just been really slow, man.
But other than that, I don't know what the heck is going on, you know? <laughs> I think it's been like a good hour since I got my last bite, so I don't know what's going on, you know? <laughs> You're crazy, man. That's going to take all day long. You really miss that south end, huh? I do. They, they bit my... <laughs> no. I know there's fish here. They're just not eating. Not sure why. I'm Nah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Did you believe me? Big one, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Check that one out, dude. Woo! Ah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, check that one out, guys. <sighs> I was just about to make fun of the size of your chowder. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's a seven at least. Yeah, sure. Look at the size of that guy. <sighs> Got the bug eyes. Yeah. Oh, you got one too? Nice. Huh. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> John, you got a scale? Alright, John just stuck a good one right when I stuck mine too. Yeah. Five and a quarter, 21 inches. Nice, nice. Alright, ready? Yeah, yeah. Go for the release. <laughs> so when I saw him, when I saw him, <laughs> okay, okay, you can see. Cool. This one. On top. This one. Yeah, and it should blink. Now zero. Okay. Bait, huh? Yeah. I bet there's something they haven't heard, that's why. Yeah. 9.5. 9.52. 9.5, yeah. Nine and a half. Yeah, that's a big one. How long is it? I don't know. I didn't. Wait, I didn't measure it. You want to measure? You got a board? I do. I brought a board. I guess. I bet you that's. Twenty-three. Yeah. I bet it's twenty-three. Jeez. He's not even twenty-three. All right, guys. Nine point five right here. 22 and three quarters big old girl nice and healthy fat
man, what a crazy day of fishing. The fishing is really tough, but when you get, if you can get around a big one or put your bait in front of a big one, it's gonna bite you. Uh, it seems like the big ones are eating, just it's hard to come across a fish. You know, um, you gotta cover a lot of water or you gotta sit a very high percentage spot to get bit, seems like. And uh, yeah, it's just been a brutal grind, but man, that, that big one was uh, quite surprising. I haven't caught a fish of that caliber in a very, very long time. So to catch a nine pounder is pretty insane. That's actually my personal best for Clear Lake as of right now is 9.5. So um, yeah, I just, you know, at first I, I didn't think it was that big, you know. I thought it was a big fish when I, when I saw it, but I thought it was gonna be maybe like a seven or eight. Um, maybe seven, you know. If at the least, I thought it was gonna be a seven, but turns out it's a lot bigger than what I thought. So I can't complain. Very short fish. The thing about here, they're, like just, they're just short and stocky, 22 and three quarters. Yeah, they it seems like they don't get very long in this lake. Yeah, it's just been a really slow grind. Pretty much, you know, Michael Bray's in the front, he's throwing a jig, I'm throwing a chatterbait, and John's flipping and throwing a bait behind us. and. Uh, John's caught quite a bit of them too. Um, right when I caught my nine, he hooked in a five as well. And, uh, yeah, just this this fish around is just it's just you gotta really work hard for them. Uh, from today's fishing, it seems like uh, the fish are not on the ends of the docks. Usually they are, but since today's uh, overcast, maybe they are not around the dock they're just uh, in between the docks between uh, the bank and the ends of the dock so they're basically in the middle of the dock um, you know they're not on the very ends of not getting bit right on the bank either just a little bit farther off the bank they're not on the ends of the docks but uh seems like the bites are coming anywhere from two to about four feet and um yeah, not much activity going on on this side of the lake either. Just no fish busting or nothing, no really activity. Very, uh, very small amounts of bait from time to time. It's another fish. See, that one was not on the back either. That's a little bit good. Come on now. That's a good fish. Oh, <laughs> See, not on the bank, but they're biting far off of it. Another one on that copperhead. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a five, five and a half. Look how short and stubby these guys are. <laughs> Just fat and short. He's gonna be a five and a half. Six point. Six point three nine. Six point three nine. 
6.3 right there. Six point three nine guys. My six pounder. Twenty inches right here. It's, it's ridiculous how heavy and short these guys are. Alright folks, that's gonna be it for Clear Lake. Now uh kind of recap. Man, day one was extremely brutal. Almost got skunked on day one of the tournament. We stayed an extra day since we were up here and planned to fish in the mornings just hopefully uh, you know just catch some fish but uh, the bite was tough just hard to get bit but the big ones were too there's a big chance that it was gonna be a quality fish so you know really stuck to it you know i got bit on that bladed jig so was, i would just oh man you know caught a four pounder in it you know i just pretty much try to keep that in my hand all day and hopefully uh get it again with a big bite on it sure enough i got two more big bites on it. i caught a i caught a, a, a nine and a half which is my pb for clear lake and then I also caught a six pounder as well. So just uh, overall really good day of fishing. We only ended up catching five fish today. I think John caught maybe about seven seven fish today. And then uh, Matthew got one today. So we all caught fish today. So it was a big success. But other than that, you know, we're gonna call it a day here and drive back home. But uh, yeah, my one trip to Clear Lake and this was it for the year. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.